Hey guys, welcome back to the beloved channel. It's your favorite hairstylist, Carice, back at you again. Today we are doing a silk press, so stay tuned to see how I press out my micro links. So I'm starting off with blown out hair. If you guys saw my blowout video, this is the outcome of that. Just literally threw on some makeup and came back to film this flat iron. So same day, this is the same exact blowout from the previous video. Um, I like to make sure that my hair is detangled before I put in any product. I'm going to use a heat protectant. This is a oil based, like silicone based heat protectant. It's very light. So I like to make sure I put it through my hair first and then whatever's remaining on my hair, I put on my edges and my nape and then I just go ahead and comb it through make sure it's all distributed throughout my hair of course I'm using the dual silk styling iron by beloved and I have the heat turned up to 410 that is the second to highest heat setting you don't need anything higher I'm also going to be using a tension brush and this really thin tooth rat tail comb and I'm going to start in my nape area so in the nape I just pinch the hair and stretch it out as far as I can and get as close as I can to the root without burning myself obviously and you'll see that a little bit better when I do my baby hairs in the front and as far as the extensions when it comes to pressing it out I just take these small sections with my tension brush and my flat iron and I chase the tension brush with my flat iron really slow so as you can see I'm moving very slowly along the strands of my hair and I only have to do one pass because I'm using my tension brush along with the heat and the speed I get it straight in just one pass at 410 degrees I repeat this going around my head from the back to the top over and over I do it row by row just one row at a time because you don't want to use a lot of hair the less hair you have the better result you're going to get because you're able to really straighten out every single individual piece and I really like to use a tension brush when straightening my own hair when I have extensions in because extensions are typically a little more coarse when they're colored and you, they're stronger than my natural hair. I don't use a tension brush on my natural hair because I feel like it would snap. But with the extension hair, it just makes it so much easier to straighten it out. So I'm gonna speed it up because there's nothing to see until you really get to the top of the head. Um, it's really just the same process over and over again. Just make sure you're taking small thin sections. Move your iron slow. Even though this is sped up, I am still moving my iron at a nice steady slow speed to give even heat throughout the hair. And just take your time. It only took me about 30 minutes to press out my whole head of hair without, you know, the little breaks and things. But... So when I get to the point where I'm straightening my perimeter with the rest of the hair, I'll just go ahead and press out my baby hairs. So as you can see, I'm just pinching and pulling them and tapping them with the flat iron really quickly, just running it through. And I'll zoom in for you on the other side so you can see a little bit better. I just pinch and pull my hair out from the scalp and I'm getting as close to my scalp as I possibly can with my flat iron to get my baby hair is as straight as possible from the root now that's a little hard because one of my baby hairs are trash like I told you guys before and also my hair is colored so it takes a little bit more heat and uh, finesse to get them straighter but you know we work with it but after I press out my baby hair or my edges I just go back to moving around my head moving towards the top and using my tension brush along with the extensions. Yeah. 
Now I know I mentioned in the reaction video how I was against um, the girl tapping her roots to straighten out her hair and as you can see I am tapping my roots a bit and that is only because I have that weft at the top so I'm trying to make sure all the hair around the weft is straightening out as best as possible or else it's going to still be poofy and kinky up there and my hair is not going to lay flat. As you can see everything is shiny and flowy nothing is too heavy because I don't put a ton of products in my hair I have a lot of movement and so this is where I kind of pause and I move over to my comb so I'm only straightening my natural hair here this is where I have my parts on either side of my head and I only use the comb with the chase method so kind of the same thing I pull the comb off a little bit from my scalp I get the iron in there as close as possible and I chase the comb with my flat iron As you can see, I'm still making sure I use a nice, steady, slow motion so I can get a decent amount of heat into each of those strands in one pass. And I don't have to keep going over the same piece of hair to get it straight. It just gets straight and falls right into everything else. So as you guys can see, there is steam coming off of my flat iron. That's because I have that heat protectant in my hair and then probably still a little bit of leave-in from the blow dry. And that's fine. That's natural. Your flat iron is going to steam. All it's doing is burning off any extra product in your hair or heating up the product that's in your hair. What you never want is smoke. It should never get smoky. Like you should never be able to taste your flat iron. So now that I'm back to straightening my extensions, I am back to the tension brush and this is just the last couple of rows at the top of my head and I am done. So my hair also does have a middle part, just the benefits of microlink extensions. I absolutely love this install and I will go back to the comb with the flat iron alone. If you can see how thin my hair is, a tension brush would just be way too much. So this is my last little bit of hair that I have left out. I'm gonna go back to my comb and my flat iron hand in hand my one pass moving slow at a nice speed and just let it fall into the rest of the hair and look how well that blends you guys these are my custom colored kinky straight bundles they're available on my site along with the flat iron and I did color my hair to match so after I'm done I just comb in everything to make sure it's blended and then I'll go ahead and um, feather or do my little curtain bang by just flipping the hair back with the flat iron this is probably the most extra heat I'll put on my hair is right here in this front bang area I'll do both sides to get that like you know Kim K flip I feel like they're the ones who really made it a thing
after that you are done you can use your boar bristle brush to brush everything into place and polish it i use the flexi detangling brush to keep it fluffy just showing y'all the versatility of this install y'all y'all need microlinks if you haven't had microlinks get you some it will change your life and i don't know about y'all but i literally play in my hair for like 30 minutes after i finish doing it because i just feel so accomplished and i feel like just a bad bitch and i can take on the world lee hope you guys enjoyed this video please like subscribe and comment let me know how you like this video down below i will leave all of the products i used and information of where you can buy the things from the shop down below and i will see you guys next time bye